Utah County, uh, we use ES&S as our vendor. These are high-speed scanners. Um, what we do is we take those flattened ballots and we load them into our scanners. Our batch size again is about 250. And uh, this machine can scan ballots as fast as 300 a minute, but it optically scans both the, t uh, the front and the back of each ballot and then sorts it, ones that have been scanned correctly, ones that need to be adjudicated, and any that might not have scanned correctly that need to be scanned again. Um, once ballots have been scanned, we then box them up for the archive. I'll talk a little bit about what happens after we've scanned a ballot and how that actually goes into the vote totals. Um, one quick caveat I'll show you is sometimes a ballot might be physically damaged and the high speed scanner doesn't scan it as well. And so we'll use a low speed scanner, which you can see here. And, uh, and so that's why we have these nearby where we can scan um, ballots that might have a rip or a tear or have a wrinkle and, and they don't go through the high speed scanner as well. So um, then we have these archive boxes over here where every batch of ballots that has been scanned is then labeled and sealed in the box where they are then archived for about, about two years. Once the ballot has been optically scanned, there's now a digital image of that ballot on our system. And we have our workstations here where we do adjudication. Adjudication is what happens when there's a stray mark on the ballot, there is an overvote, an undervote, or a write-in candidate. You have two election judges who are working, and they look at the ballot, and they make a determination of, of what the voter's intent was for that particular race. For example, a lot of times we'll see people use a check mark instead of filling out the bubble, and the system won't recognize that as a filled out bubble, so we have to actually look at it and say, you know what, this voter was confused. They thought they were check marking, not filling in bubbles. So you have to tell the system, this ballot was actually a vote for this candidate, this candidate, this candidate, based on those check marks. Or if you had a write-in candidate, you'd have to read the name and determine which write-in candidate was this voter trying to vote for. And then at the end of the election, when it's election night, um, we go into the system after polls have closed at 8 p.m. and we finalize the re results and the reports uh, of all of that data that's come through the scanning process. And that's how we produce the final results for at least the preliminary election night report.